What's going on, everybody? So I want to welcome you now to the Push 90, 90 Day Sprint Day 5 video. In this challenge today, we're going to be going over making sure you go out there and utilize the three different types of approaches, okay, and the three different types of ways to peak interest to at least 10 individuals today. So these different types of approaches are some of my favorite. We have the direct approach, indirect approach, and the super indirect approach. So walk with me right now through this entire thing as we go over them very, very, very quickly. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna talk a little bit about the direct approach. So the direct approach is one of my favorites, but it requires you having an incredible amount of belief in a certain different type of tonality. I always say that like, Belief has a sound, has a walk, and has an attitude to it. So when you're going out there and approaching people like, hey, have you ever heard of Bitcoin? Have you ever heard of cryptocurrency before? Uh, whether it's through online or whether it's through offline, you've got to make sure you have a certain different type of posture. Okay. Let's say if we're talking to somebody online, you know, I like to compliment of somebody first. So I would compliment them. Hey, man, I noticed you have a great profile. Have you ever thought about getting paid to promote or get paid to post? You know, that's something that I would approach with somebody online or, hey, bro, you have an incredible profile compliment. Hey, would you ever thought about, uh, have you ever thought about col uh, collaborating before, you know, with other different types of influencers? So that's one way to approach people directly through online. Let's say if I'm approaching somebody directly through offline, you know, I would compliment somebody on like their shoes or on their shirt or on their car offline. And when I'm talking to them in person, what I would also ask them is like, hey, man, check this out, bro. You I noticed you have a nice car, dude, you have really dope shoes or you have a, a dope vibe. Um, I'm actually involved with a group of mastermind. I'm involved with a mastermind group of entrepreneurs out here in the Miami, Florida area. You know, we have credit creditors, we have real estate agents, and we also have different types of entrepreneurs from cryptocurrency to trading, uh, you know, Forex and also online marketers. I was wondering, bro, if you'd like to get involved with it. See what I'm saying? So the direct approach, both online and offline, you've got to have a certain different type of belief and confidence behind it. I also recommend it when you're going out there and talking to people about the direct approach, build relationships with them, okay, as quickly as you can. You know what I mean? When it comes to the relationships, building relationships, you can utilize form, you know, you utilize, you know, occupation, what, where someone's from, what their occupation is, what they do in the recreational use and what motivates them. I always recommend building a quick relationship or having some small talk in the beginning that way you can warm the person up when it comes to the direct approach. And once you approach them and prospect them correctly, okay, by complimenting them, okay, forming them, and then, you know, get, giving them the direct line or direct approach, then you're going to want to invite them now to an opportunity call. So that's the direct approach. That is the first different type of approach. The second different type of approach that you're going to go out there and utilize is the indirect approach. So the indirect approach is where you're nonchalantly exposing somebody into the business. So this is actually one of my favorites and one of the funniest ones that I like to utilize. So like the way that the indirect approach works, like let's say in person, very simple, check this out, is I would keep your charts out. So I remember when I was going to the university and what I would do is in order to pique people's interest, I would have my laptop out and have charts open. And people would ask me about my charts open at my laptop out at work. You know, they would ask about it when I was in the university. You know what I would do? It was so funny. Um, friends would text me to go out and go party with them, right? On Taco Tuesdays, on Thirsty Thursdays, okay? And I remember I would literally have to tell them, no, bro, I cannot go out tonight. I'm doing something so much more important. And people at the time would be like, well, what are you doing, man? What, what is it? I'm like, bro, I'm linking up with this mastermind group of cryptocurrency educators and traders at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So it's funny because I would have the prospect now ask me, well, what is it? What do you mean? You're linking up at seven o'clock with this mastermind group of cryptocurrency educators. And they would ask me about it. You see what I'm saying? That's how the indirect approach works. If I had my laptop out or my phone out with charts and I was looking at the market, looking at, you know, ApeCoin, looking at NFTs, people would always ask me, bro, what do you know about that? How do, how do you know, can, can you teach me a little bit more about trading? How, how are you aware about what's going on right now? You know, so the indirect approach is one of the funniest to use, especially in person, okay? Because in person, people are naturally curious. So they're going to gravitate towards you. And then at that point in time, you can now literally invite them in. And it's like, you're doing them the favor, which is absolutely incredible. Um, the next thing we're going to talk a little bit about now is the social media aspect of it with the indirect approach. So to grab people's 
uh, attention through social media. You know, back in the day, we used to be able to upload trading profits. So I wouldn't recommend utilizing trading profits with an indirect approach. But what I would showcase is value. I would showcase change. I would showcase lifestyle. That's kind of an indirect approach uh, when it comes to people hopping on your profile and getting exposed into the entire business. They're going to be naturally curious. Okay. One thing that I like to utilize is polls. Okay, with the indirect approach, I recommend every single person here, hey, put up a poll. Hey, have you ever thought about trading before? Have you ever thought about learning about Web3, NFTs, the metaverse before? You can first start the poll with something like, hey, do you think gas prices are too high? You know, people are going to say yes. Then you can start the second poll like, hey, you know, do you think inflation is crazy? Do you think inflation is too high? People are going to say yes. And then guess what? On the third poll, you can now put the poll. Well, do you want to learn how to combat inflation? Okay. And go out there and compete uh, and, 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 and save your buying power. Something along the lines like that by through cryptocurrency, through Web3 or through this. When you do that now, you've warmed them up to saying yes. Okay. And they're going to probably say yes on your third poll. So through social media, the indirect approach works naturally. And what I used to do also in person too with the indirect approach, I used to show people my profits. You know, it was $10 profit, 50 bucks profit, um, even a hundred dollar profit. I would just show them a small percentage. You know, I don't recommend showcasing profits today. So what I would recommend you guys to utilize is showcasing some of your percentages, maybe some of your results with the scanner, you know, catching maybe 10 pips, 20 pips, utilizing the products. That's going to get people interested in the entire platform. So Indir uh, we have the direct approach, the indirect approach, and now we're going to get into the next approach, which is one of my favorites, which is the super indirect approach, guys. The super indirect approach, like I'm telling you, is one of my favorites because you're disqualifying people to look at your business. So let me explain how this works, okay? Instead of going out there and asking him, hey, have you ever thought about trading before? Have you ever wanted to learn how to trade? This is how you're going to approach somebody in person. Okay. You're going to first compliment them. Perfect. Hey, bro, you have a nice pair of shoes. Yo, bro, that's a dope shirt. Hey, I just noticed that's a, that's a Mustang outside. It's an incredible car, bro. Yo, just wanted to actually ask you, are you from here, by the way? Okay. You're from Miami. Oh, okay, cool. No, I, I just wanted to ask because I just moved here, bro. And check it out. I just got involved with this mastermind group of entrepreneurs, traders, real estate agents, uh, people that do credit, and also uh, you know multiple six and seven figure earners that also do online and affiliate, online marketing and affiliate marketing. And uh, we have this mastermind group, bro. And I wanted to actually ask you, bro, if, do you know anybody that's super sharp that would like to get paid to promote or get paid to post, okay? Do you know anybody that's super sharp that would like to get paid to promote and get paid to post? So now what's happening in the super indirect approach, you've disqualified the person. Instead of you going out there and asking him, hey, man, do you want to learn how to trade? Do you want to learn how to get involved in the business? You're asking him, you're, you're giving him value. You're telling him, hey, listen, man, I'm a part of an exclusive group of entrepreneurs, traders, real estate agents. And bro, I was wondering, do you know anybody that's super sharp? I'm not asking you, but do you know anybody that's super sharp that would like to get paid to promote or get paid to post? In his head, he's thinking like, wow, well, maybe I do have a couple friends. So he's subconsciously now building and referring people to you. But in his head, he's also thinking, well, you know what? Maybe I could, you know, you know run it up and, and learn a little bit more about Web3, NFTs, trading or, or, or real estate or whatever it is that you guys are involved in. You see what I'm saying? So once... He says, well, maybe me, man, uh, maybe I would like to learn or I do know some people. What you're going to do next is you're going to lead over with the proper invitation and share the opportunity, okay, in these four different types of exposures, whether it's a home event, okay, the 7 p.m. Eastern time and 7 p.m. PST time webinars or videos, the website, or you're going to share our social media platforms, or lastly, you're going to get them on a three-way call. So guys, my biggest tip, Okay, my last and final tip with the three different ways to go out there and approach people, make sure you utilize all three, you practice them. Because I always say every single marketing mentor was once a superior student. So the best way to be able to go out there and master the entire information is by doing it again and again and again and again and again. I practiced every single approach, both online and also offline. They work in the exact same way. The system works. 
All that really needs to get to work is you need to get to work. So I appreciate you guys. Day five, signing out. Talk to y'all soon. Peace.